Hesh Sagafi, Liberty Home Mortgage. And what am I talking about today? I'm talking about this question. Can a buyer make repairs before closing on the loan to buy their home? And the answer is, uh, you gotta watch the video first. But I will tell you, if you have questions on this one, hit me with your best shot, okay? Just hit me with your best shot. Fire away. Okay. I had to, I couldn't help it. I love Pat Bennett, what are you gonna say? Can a buyer make repairs on a house? So you're a buyer, you're thinking about buying a home. That's why you gotta watch my videos. Subscribe to my page and check out all the other videos. I got well over 500 of these things on all different aspects of mortgage lending. Pay attention to them. So can a buyer make repairs before closing? Of course they can. They could also run their car into the house if they feel like it. But you gotta watch, you gotta be careful. There's certain things to pay attention to. So a buyer can make repairs. Let's first talk about what repairs can they make. First, they have to get it agreed upon with the seller. You have to get an agreement in place that says the buyer can make repairs. This is the danger you're running into. And if you're buying a house and you're asking this question or you're a real estate agent, pay attention to what I'm saying here, okay? The repairs will be listed on the appraisal, for example, or it could be on a home inspection, but from a lending perspective, we don't get copies of the home inspections, or at least I hope you don't send me a copy of the home inspection. So it's listed on the appraisal. If the appraiser says there's chipped and peeling paint and it has to be scraped, primed, and painted, call the appraiser and say, is it okay if the buyer does it? Does it have to be a lead-based paint certified painter to do the work? That's one case. If the appraiser says it's electrical, a GFCI has to be put in. You have to change out the panel box. Call the appraiser and say, do I need, a, do I need an electrician to do that work? More than likely, nine times out of 10, you're gonna know whether or not it has to be a professional. There's no loan guideline that says if there are repairs, it has to be a certified professional, even though when you're talking about electrical work, especially for God's sakes, that's insanity to do that yourself. Hot water tanks, furnaces, things like that. I cannot imagine that a buyer is gonna go change out a furnace themselves, but ask the appraiser if it has to be a licensed professional. Electrical work is almost always a given, yes, you need it. When it comes to painting, nine times out of 10, no, it does not. Here's what you wanna do and pay attention to what I'm saying, especially every agent out there. And by the way, I do loans in 45 states. I get these things done. You need a loan officer, it doesn't matter where you are in 45 states I lending, call me. You wanna make sure the loan is approved and the final items are the repairs on the appraisal. Then get the repairs done. As an example, it's Friday. I'm gonna tell you everything's cleared on this thing. The appraisal's good, everything else is good. Get the repairs done. Have the buyer go out there this weekend, crush out 20 hours of work, get every single thing done. Let's get the appraiser back out there on Monday. Let's sign this loan on Tuesday and file it on Wednesday and we are done with it. You wanna close that window down as small as possible between when the buyer goes to do work and when they're signing for the loan. Why? Simple. What happens if the buyer goes out on a Friday or the buyer goes out there to do the work over the weekend, Hesh isn't closing until Tuesday and on Monday they lose their job. What happens if a windstorm comes and blows the whole roof off of the house? You think these stories are crazy, they're not. This is stuff that has happened. You wanna make sure that every single thing that could go wrong is covered as much as humanly possible. Do not have the buyer start doing work when they themselves have not gone through the whole gauntlet of underwriting and God knows they've got collections and judgments and income taxes that are not paid and child support and arrearages and all this other stuff. And those are the problems you run into. That the loan officer says, you're good to go when they're not. And then the buyer goes out there and makes repairs when they shouldn't. Then the appraiser goes out there and calls out more repairs. These are the disasters that people create for themselves. Again, watch these videos. Watch what I'm teaching you. Watch what I'm educating you on. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Can a buyer make repairs? Yes, yes, and yes. I have it all the time, okay? Now there's certain homes, like a HUD home, the buyer ain't gonna make a repair on a HUD home. HUD will not allow it, period, end of story. If the seller does not agree to it and the seller does not allow it, then you can't do it, okay? The other thing is, is the risk for the buyer, which I've already covered actually, is the buyer is making repairs on a house that they do not even own. So they're putting their money into it. Now for God's sakes, do I recommend remodeling the kitchen for 20 grand before you own it? No, but can you paint it and go to Sharon Williams and buy some paint for 40 bucks or something like that and do some painting over a weekend? Yes, you can. Yes, they can make repairs. Make sure you talk to the appraiser. Make sure they're approved with everything else before they go out and do it. And if you do it in an organized fashion and you're working with the right loan officer, arrows pointing to hash, okay? 
you'll get it done almost every, well, you'll get it done every single time. I just hate saying absolutes and guarantees. Anyways, keep following these videos. If you have questions, put it in the comments. Call me, contact me, message me, send smoke signals, carrier pigeons, whatever you want. And we'll catch you on the next one.